No nation has more new aircraft programs than China, and the progress it has made in the 20 years has been spectacular. In this video we will discuss the problems faced by China aviation industry with their fighter J-10C. There are a few technologies that are really at the apex of technological manufacturing. And jet engines are one of them. China has long struggled with aero engine technology, so how good are the J-10C engine WS-10C is? The WS-10 series has suffered from persistent problems with engine life, mean time between failures and throttle spool response time. Whilst it has improved sufficiently to enter quantity production for later J-10C and J-11. The Russian AL-31 FN Series 3 developed for the J-10C is still a superior engine on almost all metrics aside from cost. Chinese military turbofan engines are improving rapidly but are at best only at per with Russian equivalents. And are not yet in a position to compete directly with European or American designs. There is precedent for reverse engineering jet engines. Beijing's attempts to produce its own domestic designs have been largely unsuccessful. One of its earliest versions of a domestically designed engine. The WS-10C regularly broke down after just 30 hours of use. There are many reasons for these failures. First, Russia is aware China has stolen its intellectual property before and is reluctant to sell Beijing its best engines. Moscow also doesn't sell standalone engines, instead including them on existing jets, which makes copying them difficult. Second, reverse engineering skill doesn't easily translate into proficiency at developing new jet engines from scratch. That requires technological know-how that takes years of intensive learning to develop and generations to perfect. These high-end technologies are so difficult to master that very few countries succeed. Blueprints for such an engine can be copied. But the secrets to producing and shaping metal parts that can withstand those temperatures and spin at such tremendous RPM over thousands of hours. Not to mention external factors like wind resistance and corrosion without breaking aren't easy to find. In an attempt to get direct access to the secrets of jet manufacturing. The Chinese state-owned aviation firm. Sky Razon, which has been blacklisted by the US government, tried to acquire a controlling stake in Motor Sich. A Ukrainian company that is one of the largest producers of engines for helicopters and jets. Despite the setbacks. China has made some progress. Modern variants of the WS-10 have progressed enough that some Chinese jets are being fitted with them, including J-20. The J-10C uses Russian components that are not known for their reliability. The engine is AL-31FN, a variant of the same engine of the SU-30 MKI. These engines have a mean time between overhaul of just 500 hours and a total life of 1,500 to 3,000 hours. Which is very low as compared to European or American designs. This means higher depot visits and lower availability of the aircraft. The J-10C has an Chinese AESA radar with 1,200 TR modules. This is a huge number but the single AL-31 engine of the J-10C isn't powerful enough to provide the electrical power needed for all the 1200 TR modules. Thus the radar operates at lower capability. The Chinese government is pursuing a range of indigenous innovation and technology development programs. But mastering advanced technologies becomes more difficult and expensive as a country moves closer to the technology frontier. China faces a similar predicament in manufacturing high-end microchips and semiconductors. And has not yet been able to create its own computer chips which is vital component in avionics. China is grappling with an inherent conflict of relying on imported avionics technology expertise. Due to the complexity of the materials and metallurgy process. And to avoid the costs of acquiring and maintaining the scientific and machining. China's legitimate access to advanced military-specific technologies has been reduced. As Western sources of supply remained closed. And Russia has become more reluctant to provide advanced aviation technology due to China's reverse engineering of the Su-27. Fear of future competition for export markets, and concerns about China's long-term strategic direction. 
Experts believe the J-10C avionics is most likely comparable to that installed on the F-16 and Rafale fighters, but of lower quality. The standard service life of fighter jets is about 8,000 flying hours or about 40 years. With 200 hours per year of flying. What it means is the airframe can take the maximum rated G loads plus 9G and negative 3G for 8,000 hours before the airframe shows signs of metal fatigue and it deteriorates over time and loses strength. These numbers can vary significantly from aircraft to aircraft. Typically Chinese fighters have shorter life compared to the European or Western fighters who have extremely high fatigue. Example. F-16 Fighting Falcon, service life of 8,000 hours or 40 years of flying. The older F-16 are undergoing SLEP, service life extension program, to extend their service life to 12,000 hours. Chinese fighters have shorter life 3,000 to 4,000 hours of fatigue life or 15 to 20 years after this. The airframe starts developing micro cracks due to fatigue and it doesn't stay safe to fly anymore. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe.